We often talk about how fat loss comes down to calories in versus calories out. Calories in is the easier side of that equation to control, but that doesn't mean you can't make an impact on your calories out. The calories you burn come from four different areas. First is your basal metabolic rate. That is the calories used simply to keep your body functioning as is breathing, circulation, cell production, etc. You can increase this a little bit over a long period of time by building muscle mass. But day to day, we have no control over that number. Next is the thermic effect of food. So that refers to the calories used to digest, absorb, and metabolize the food that we eat. Another one that we have very little control over. Then comes the two areas that we can actually control. One is our purposeful exercise. So your strength training, your intense cardio workouts, yoga and mobility. The other one is your daily NEAT or non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This includes the calories burned just to go about your day, move around from place to place, walking, cleaning, and so on. Now you might think adding in more purposeful exercise is going to give you the most benefit because it feels hard. But assuming you already have an exercise routine that is sustainable for you, increasing your NEAT will actually have more of an impact. We don't actually burn as many calories as we think with purposeful exercise. Sorry to say, but your watch is highly inaccurate when it comes to measuring that. And if you increase your purposeful exercise too much, you might be too tired to move more throughout the day, and that can in turn result in a decrease in your overall calories burned. Purposeful exercise is important for overall health and longevity, but incorporating more general movement into your daily life will do more for that calorie deficit than trying to add in a sixth or seventh workout every week.